People who live on Virginia's eastern shore have seen enough of this. Dead fish washing up on beaches. This is Silver Beach last July. Now Ocean Harvesters, which owns a new fish spill response vessel, and Omega Protein, the company the fish are harvested for, have a solution. Our goal is to make sure that all those fish never reach the beach. Ben Landry shared video of Hopeful Harvest, which will deploy if there's a snag in the net used to catch the menhaden and dead ones are accidentally released. So it has a crane. It picks up two smaller boats and puts them into the water that have with basically these skimmers on the front of the vessel. So, you know, the way that we've tested it with the corks is that the skimmer then goes over the fish and then when it's full, you can bring the fish onto the boat. Landry says fish spills are not common, but they do happen about once a year at each of their three facilities, one in Reedville, Virginia, and two in the Gulf of Mexico. We use our airplanes to say, all right, where are the fish gonna go? We think that reaching a beach is an imminent uh, situation, and then we'll deploy that, that vessel. Uh, while they're still floating. Chesapeake Bay Foundation sent us these pictures of the dead fish on beaches. CBF was one of the first groups to raise concern about the fish spills. Do you feel right. like the fish spill response vessel is going to solve some of the issues? Well, it will obviously alleviate some of the concern about fish washing up on the beach. Our concern is those fish are kind of wasted from an ecological perspective and an economic perspective, and it's not going to change that. Senior scientist Chris Moore is concerned about the overall population of menhaden in the bay. All uh, different species that eat other fish eat menhaden at some point in their lifetime. So think about things like striped bass, bluefish, wheatfish. Think about birds like ospreys, and think about marine mammals like dolphins and whales. Those are all uh, dependent upon Menhaden, what we want to see is more science that shows how many fish we actually need in Chesapeake Bay in order to fulfill all its ecological roles and then determine what the appropriate catch is. CBF proposed tighter Menhaden regulations like a buffer in the bay and parts of the Atlantic Ocean in Virginia. Which would have had a, a number of benefits. One, um, it would have reduced the user conflicts in some cases between uh, the fishing industry and recreational users of the bay. Uh, it also would have moved the boats out of some of these shallower waters where the net spills tend to happen most likely. But Ben Landry points out a memorandum of understanding was signed with the Virginia Marine Resources Commission for this fishing season. We went in and we worked with BMRC to uh, enact a, a memorandum of understanding that we would stay one mile off of that shore, um, off of the Virginia's eastern shore, particularly where the uh, more densely populated areas or because we've been around since uh, the 1870s and you know you don't have that degree of success and longevity without you know doing what you can to reduce these user conflicts. While the new fish spill response should keep dead fish off local beaches, CBF hopes there's more attention brought to protect the fish so many species rely on. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.